All right, today I'm going to change out the strain system. Um, XC1100 from 1993. Condenser runs good. Uh, the evaporator's got a leak. Um, so they just had to go ahead and swap out the whole system. Going with a Goodman. There's the Goodman equipment. This is the uh, ICP Arco I put in uh, last summer, I think. And uh, I wasn't selling train at that time. They, and they asked me if I was going to put this kind in. I said, no, I don't sell that one no more. I sell train. And this man here actually has a grudge against train and told me that he likes me, he likes my work, and but he will not accept a train unit. Um, he'll accept anything but a train. So I told him about Goodman, which is what I sell when people don't want train or can't afford it. It's very rare that I get somebody that doesn't want a train, but this guy here does not want it. I told him about the Goodman, and he said, that's fine, let's do it. So that's why we're going with a Goodman. And uh, so I'm going to get to working here. I already got this condenser disconnected. This is a regular air conditioner. We're going back with a heat pump. This Arco right here is a heat pump. So, uh, let me get to work and I'll shoot some more in a little bit. Alright guys, I'm getting ready to blow my line set out, flush it, and uh, flush it with some R RX-11 flush uh, and pass some nitrogen behind that. We put a new disconnect on the wall. I thought I'd show you all this. I think this one... I think that one was just about due for replacement. What do y'all think? <laughs> so we stuck a brand new one on the wall. I've got my lines cut. And I've got this piece of cardboard right here. Block it so I don't get flush and crap all over the unit. So, uh... We're gonna get to flushing, and then we'll uh, we'll braze this baby in. Okay, we're done flushing. I've got everything fitted up to braze. Made an expansion there, expansion there, and it goes into the unit. So I'm gonna take these caps off, pull pull the cores. Wrap the valves with some socks and get the brazen. Alright guys, everything's done. Getting ready to fire up the system. Uh, sorry, I was going to shoot some better video and uh, we had a little electrical problem over there. Y'all saw that disconnect box. The old one was all burned up. We had some wires uh, that were skint back inside the wall and so we had to repair that. That's why I haven't got no good video, but we're going to fire up here in just a second. All right, guys, I got the Goodman fired up. I'll tell you what, man, I'm wore out. It's been a hot one. And they're gone now, but, man, we've been infested by the damn love bugs, man. This is ridiculous. That's from that damn hurricane that we had. Uh, I'm letting it run. And then we'll get the target superheat with the uh, field piece SRH2 down there. And uh, she's been running about 9 minutes and uh, 53 seconds, as you see there. And um, we'll let her keep running. And we'll get a target superheat, and that'll be just about it for this one. Yeah, I tell you all what, guys, I apologize for not shooting better. Uh, I'm sure my last couple videos hadn't been that great, but we had some damn electrical problems. And then, uh, I just, it's been so hot. It's been really hot here today in Louisiana. And, uh, I'm tired. I'm wore out. I'll be glad when summer's over because, uh, things get pretty slow here. But that's okay. I'm ready for a break. And, uh, I'm ready to get on my deer stand. So, I'll be, uh, I'll be just fine when summer's over. Give me a break. And, uh, I'm going to go do some deer hunting. That's, that's what I do, guys. When I'm not doing HVAC in the winter and it's slow, I'm on my deer stand. So, uh, all right, y'all. Well, 
let's let it run. We'll get the target superheat, and then I'll show you all that. Getting our target superheat. Try the heat mode. Thanks for watching, guys.